Jack Black flinging fireballs, Kate Blanchett doing bland, and Eli Roth directing Poo Poo. Right now, on Miscast Movie Reviews. Drop the intro. Here's Johnny. I love the smell when I come in the morning. Based on the classic children's book, The House with a Clock in Its Walls, Eli Roth delivers a solid load of leafy hedge cat poop directly to the face. Join the indomitable Lewis as he learns pointless magic from a fez-wearing Uncle Jack Black and his not-girlfriend-girlfriend neighbor, Mrs. Zimmerman. Watch as Jack Black does Jack Black finger movements to create magical fireballs used to light furnaces. See Academy Award-winning actress Kate Blanchett take on a role not fit for her understudies, understudies, understudy. Can these misfits tame the magical house and find the doomsday clock not actually in the walls but really in the fireplace? Who cares? Because I fell asleep. Only for two seconds. But it was the best darn two seconds of the movie. This summer sucks. Hey you miscast miscreants and welcome back to our channel and this is another movie review. We're reviewing The House with the Clock in Its Walls, yo, with Jack Black directed by Eli Roth starring Kate Blanchett and this kid. Owen Vaccaro? Owen. Owen Vaccaro. Owen Vaccaro. Owen Vaccaro. All right. Kyle McLaughlin. Kyle. Kyle. Is that the Dune dude? That's the Dune dude. He plays uh, Isaac Izzard so. and uh, Sonny Soljic plays the... Uh, Friend Owen Vaccaro's friend, Louis Barnabelle's friend. Uh, he also did the voice and motion cap for, for Atreus in the God of War games. Oh, isn't it, all right. Isn't it Atreus from like Dune too? Like Atreus? Atreus is from Never Ending Story. Never Ending Story. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Come for me, Gmork! I am Atreus! All movies that are 10,000 times better than this one. So let's get started. <laughs> JJ? I hated this movie, and as you saw in the previous one, I blame William 100%. I didn't want to watch the movie, but he said it was going to be pretty cool because of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I watched it. <laughs> it's not fair, man. It's not fair. No, honestly, um, I don't know who the target audience for this movie really is because the movie's rated PG-13, which I think the ratings board totally screwed the pooch on this one. I think it's, it's really more of a PG-13 movie. Mm-hmm. I don't think parents are going to like this movie. It's not scary enough for parents. I think it's too creepy and scary for kids. And uh, like we mentioned the previous in, in our non-spoiler review, uh, the tonality of this movie is just kind of like, man, it just it just fails big time because of um, the lighting and the music and the lightheartedness of the actors. It, you never really get like a really quality scary movie out of this, mm-hmm. whether for kids or adults. Mm-hmm. So for me, I think this movie was just like a giant, giant suck, giant poop. <laughs> Ernest Scared Stupid is a far better <laughs> Shit. Halloween movie than this one. Hey, Vern. Yeah, it, but it is, though. It is a better movie. So, yeah, there, there, there are much better movies out there for this. Oh, like when you think about um, scary movies made for kids, the one that really like comes to mind. And I know it's probably not for kids. <laughs> but uh, on the computer, Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, that is definitely not for kids. It's not for kids, but it's one of it's these movies movie. that is sort of like about kids for parents, yeah. and it's like a beautifully well crafted movie. It's a dark fairy tale. Uh, Return yeah. to Oz. I might rec- might equate it more to that yeah. because uh, I mean, listen, I, I love Return to Oz, and it's it's you know it's a kind of a cult classic now. But it was that Im- weird in between where it's like too scary for little kids. But not scary enough for adults. Maybe it's kind of a you know one of those kind of weird weird things. So well, now that you're on it, yeah. So well, <laughs> right, I mean, I, 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 if uh, JJ's done, so uh, yeah. So you got Eli Roth directing this one. He directed the Hostel movies and stuff like that. So it's his first kids movie. It's his first adaptation of a book right. that he's ever done. Um, the book is by uh, uh, John Belair's, um, but. Uh, I don't know. He's a competent director, but I, he felt like he wanted to go adult in some port, port parts yeah. of it. And it, I mean, the movie starts out with the, the poor kid's parents are dead. It's something like everybody, every major character's, uh, every, every major character's family in this movie are dead. 
you know. So mm-hmm. Kate Blanchett lost her family. So it's very, very heavy subject matter for anybody under the age of like ten, you know, whatever. Um, and there, there are some scares in this part in this movie. There's a, there's a really, really creepy. Even for me, it was a creepy forest demon with his tongue. It was, you know, uh, yeah. it, And that's a point where um, those freaking dolls. <laughs> So creepy. Those dolls were crazy. <laughs> That's another really freaky thing for kids. But when that forest demon came out, uh, a little kid sitting a couple rows behind us was like, "Why did you take us to see this movie?" Yeah. And it was like wanting to go home, you know. So it was it was a little little much for little kids. But um, you know, overall, I enjoyed the dynamic between Jack Black and Kate Blanchett. They were pretty funny with their what they were saying to each other. You know how they would insult each other. I think the movie uh, relied on some lowbrow humor at times. There were some cat poop jokes, you know, with this giant topiary sphinx thing pooping on people that, yeah. i hated it and pumpkin p- pumpkins uh jack o puking, puking on people hated that I was, yeah i was like <laughs> eh, it's just unnecessary you know so i felt like they relied on that um but i will say about halfway through the movie and then at the end of the movie there was a very positive message about just being yourself with the with the how the main character little kid was kind of ostracized and trying to make friends and um there was a good little scene where uh uh, he was sitting at the table with Kate Blanchett and Jack Black, and they were like, you know, it's okay to be weird, you know, just be yourself. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks, you know. And uh, and that kind of came around at the end too, with uh, the little girl who had a crush on him and all that. So and uh, yeah. had a ha- had a happy ending. So I thought that was a positive message there. So I, I can't I can't say I really recommend this movie. When you said Penn's Labyrinth, that was probably where my head was at mm-hmm. when I recommended it. I was like, you know. Eli Roth mixing the stuff would would come up with that. I felt like nobody delivered any kind of real acting in this movie. Right. Kate Blanchett, I saw as Kate Blanchett. I didn't see her as her character. And actually, I saw her as like pretending to be Kate Blanchett playing a character because <laughs> that was just Jack Black too. I felt same yeah, thing. Jack Black especially at the end with when he turned into a baby. That oh, was a that disaster was of yeah. writing Oof. and filming and just creepy. That entire climactic scene with the clock uh, was a was a travesty of filmmaking. I would not show that to a class in college to to say this this is how you should make a movie, kids. Right. No, no, this is how you don't make a movie. <laughs> yeah, this movie is definitely not a go-to for that. So. The, the special effects were so bad. I don't know what the budget. Of, I should have looked up the budget of this movie. But either way, it doesn't matter. The budget on TV does better special effects than what this was. So just forget about this movie and move on with your lives. You know what was weird was that at the end of the movie, at the when the credits started rolling, there were a couple of claps. Really, you didn't hear that? They were claps that it ended. Yeah. <laughs> Try it. Yeah, you could be right on that one. You could be right on that one. That the whole joke over. with the freaking chimera tree creature cat thing pooping, pooping on, on the people. chair. Dude, I had no investment Pooped in on that the little chair kid. or that chimera or the poop, and it was stupid and whatever. I'm done. So we're done. Are we done? I think we're done. <laughs> yeah. So two thumbs up, right? <laughs> yeah. Three thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. I say no. don't. Yeah. This is a stay away. Yeah. Save your money. Save your money for next weekend because some good stuff's about to start. Wait for right? Netflix. So yeah. yeah, yeah. Watch Ernest Scared Stupid. Right. Yes. What he said. All right, guys. You know the drill. Get to our channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that bell, and then comment and tell us what you think about what you. Hopefully, you didn't see it, but I guess you <laughs> did. If, if you got in suckered this. into it. Yeah. If you saw, if you're lo- yes. watching this, you saw it. You so. guys can poop on it just like we just are. Just blame right? William and blame William for it. Yeah. Blame me in the comments and poop yes. all over the comments with your with your poop. <laughs> so just write guys. it in poop. Write it in poop. <laughs> all right, guys. Next time. Peace.